Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there, and welcome to a special video of Fire Emblem Three Houses. This game is rated T for Teen because, well, created by a Intelligent Systems and co-developed by Koei Tecmo Games. So yeah. However, this video is a living tribute to the voice actor Billy Comet. So um, I'm not gonna. Uh, there will. I. How about like. I am going to do some of the, um, uh, some, uh, how do I say this, uh, to show you the, the, the event gallery or the movie gallery or whatsoever, because, uh, of the remembering, uh, from what the voices he did, for, you know, by, you know, uh, Billy Comets, if you want to know, so... Uh, they support conversation. So, Billy Comet, who voices uh, Ferdinand von Eyer. Yeah, that 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 guy, right? Him, right? Right there, him there. That's what. Um, th th there will be a time that I'll do the conversation. Like, are you gonna do a Fire Rumble Three Houses Let's Play in the near future? Because it, yes, it'll be a part of the Ultimate Arkhamverse, and I guarantee you that it's uh, it's not a, it's not a secret, and it's not a joke. So, uh, I, I can hardly wait to do this. So. Um, it's not that hard. There's some of the uh, conversations that, uh, that that I've that I've never done along with myself, who is the professor. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, um, I will throw out some info for you guys besides listening to B B Billy uh, Billy Comet's voice acting. So why not he talk about with those who he met up with? So uh, I know he's kind of a ladies' man. So why not? So uh, part. Let's let, let let's say he did a, a part one and the. White clouds. Oh, what is that lovely smell? It seems to be coming from the training area. Oh, what could it be? You have met your match, Rust. Ah, so stubborn. Good day to you, Ferdinand. You smell amazing. That is you I am smelling, is it not? Ah, Flane, hello. Are you referring to the smell of this oil? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, that is the smell, all right. I am simply doing some armor maintenance. A little oil keeps the rust at bay, ensuring that the armor moves smoothly, without any hitches. I see. I thought maybe you were doing some cooking. You smell a bit like food. <laughs> but I suppose that is the oil tricking my nose. <laughs> I would not cook in the training area. Are you hungry by chance? Not really, no. But is that oil not also used for cooking? For things like frying meat or drizzling over a nice crisp salad. Things of that nature. Were I to coat my armor in oil that smells of food, I would be distracted by hunger at all times. I doubt that amidst actual fighting, the smell would still make you hungry. When you are in the thick of it, you devote all your focus and energy to the fight. There is no time to feel peckish. I suppose you are right. And actually, all of this talk of delicious oil has made me hungry. <laughs> in that case, I will accompany you to the dining hall. I will be finished in a couple of minutes. I must apologize, Ferdinand, but I cannot wait even a moment for you. I am famished! I shall be in the dining hall. Getting my fill of fried goodies. Well, that was quick. Hmm. I will admit, now that she has mentioned it, it is a rather appetizing smell. Great conversation with Flaine, if you want to know. I mean, uh, there's something on the matter between with um, Ferdinand and Flaine. So I know I'm going to give out spoilers on this, but that's fine. But... However, this is a living tribute to Billy Comets. Um, I remember that I got um, the uh, when I got to meet him for the first time, Billy Comets, uh, uh, back in Anime Oasis. Um, 
Uh, he was, um, I think he, I think he's a great voice actor, to be honest. Uh, and also, I got his autograph. It, he's just an amazing voice actor. And uh, not to mention uh, what he does for, and I, uh, like, uh, yeah, he's on other shows besides voice acting on games, you know, be do, besides doing the Japanese anime voice acting. Of course, uh, leave a comment section below. Uh, tell me, what do you remember the, what, that Billy Comet's voice acting that what he voicing on Japanese anime shows because I would love to hear your thoughts on this and it's uh it's kind of sad that he he passed away last weekend and because happened in June between June 11th and June 12th so yeah it's kind of sad for somebody who great talent did it as he is and this is the second part of white clouds good day ferdinand working on your armor again good day to you too that is right i have been overusing it a bit lately now allow me to wager a guess are you feeling hungry as usual as usual it is not as though I am always searching for a meal. I just... I am rather interested in armor. Do you mind if I peer over your shoulder while you work? Of course not. Please, feel free to observe. Thank you for allowing me the pleasure. Oh, so many different types. Wow! Helmets, armor, gauntlets... The range of defensive items seems innumerable. This one seems different from the rest of them. It is akin to a gauntlet, except... Flame, careful! Huh? Oh! Flame, are you alright? Did you injure yourself? I am well. But what was that? That could have been serious. Uh, please forgive me. I should have warned you first. Uh, this is a new type of gauntlet with a spring-loaded blade over the knuckles. The mechanism is rather easily triggered. Uh, how foolish of me not to warn you. No, I am the one who is overly curious and reached out without permission. My apologies. But, um, when you snatched me out of harm's way, you, er, uh, you embraced me quite tightly. Ah, uh, yes. You were in danger and my instincts simply took hold. I hope you will forgive my rashness. No, it is not that at all. It is just... You hugged me so tight. Uh, did it hurt? I am so sorry, Flane. I did not mean to cause you any discomfort. Not at all. Not, not in the slightest. Anyway, I had better be on my way. Such a delicate creature. And that sweet demeanor. Yeah, snap out of it, Ferdinand. Yeah, what a ladies man! I knew you had it in you, Ferdinand. Woohoo! <sighs> oh my. Um. Yeah, you got great voice actor, to be honest. Um. He's the kind of man who, uh, you know, before he did his voice acting, he was he was on Aladdin the musical, to be honest, like. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Aladdin the musical. Um, it was, it was really, really interesting. <laughs> Besides having his autograph, it's uh, yeah. So yeah, he came out. He came to voice acting like three years ago when he played Aladdin on Aladdin Musical Spectacular in Disney's California Adventure for the final year of the show's 13-year run. So since that time, Billy had been lucky enough to lend his voice to anime, video games, cartoons, live-action dubs, and commercials. So that it's um, <clears throat> and and you get the idea. Like he's. You know, when he when he played as Aladdin, like he has the perfect part. And now when he does voice acting, he, it's something else. So um, I'm gonna give you the final part of the A of of ranking A to that conversation to support with Flane, if you like to know, part two. 
Flane. I hope you will allow me to apologize. Why would you need to do that? Last time, when I was working on my armor, you could have been gravely injured. You have been avoiding me ever since, so I want to reiterate how very sorry I am. I'm not sure that's entirely the case. So, you are not avoiding me? To be perfectly honest, I felt a bit embarrassed. When you embraced me before, it really caught me off guard. You're surprisingly strong for how slender you appear. Anyway, it all got me rather flustered. Oh, I see. Well, I do train quite often. On the battlefield, it is perfectly common to lift up a wounded comrade. It has nothing to do with your gender. In the heat of the moment, I pay no attention to such things. That is, uh, how I would explain it. I see. So you have a well of strength for embracing people, it seems. Well, I would not put it like that. Usually, when I embrace people, it is in the context of battle. Is that so? <laughs> uh, so the embrace was nothing more than a rescue. Perhaps I was flustered needlessly. I wonder... If you would consider embracing me when my life is not in peril. Huh? Why? Because I'd like to feel that way again. That's why. How about it? Or is your capacity for embracing limited exclusively to warfare? <laughs> uh, oh, I see what is going on here. I had forgotten how charmingly ethereal you can be. Very well. As per your request, I shall embrace you again. Ah, I'm delighted. Does right now work for you? Why, of course. Easily done. Although, perhaps we shouldn't tell Sedith. Agreed. Better to let this be our little secret. <laughs> I knew you were a ladies' man! You know how to pull this off for the Dan Von Eyer! I knew you had it in you! <laughs> oh, so, um... Oh my, um... I don't know much about Billy Comets, but when I got interested in his voice acting from when he voicing in fire, uh, voice Ferdinand Von Eyre on Fire Emblem Three Houses for the first time, uh, doing a Fire Emblem game, uh, it really, um, I wasn't so certain, but then I finally realized, hey, I think he's going to do, give it this, uh, give it a shot, and, and what do you know, he's right under the wild blue yonder, of course, so... I'm absolutely impressed. So it is. Ab it's absolutely amazing to, um, to 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 see. So you know what? Um. Also, um, actually shows no fear in front of Bernadetta as a ladies' man. I mean, of course, I'll get to the men. So don't, you don't worry. Like, when are you gonna do the men's route? Uh, don't, don't worry. I'm not gonna say I won't because. That'll definitely happen when I put that into practice, so or put it into work. So let uh, um uh, there w there are like these special moments to see with this. So here you go. Uh, let's go with talk to uh, Bernadetta. By the way, we'll do the <clears throat> this uh, part two. So. Once again, a living tribute to Billy Comets, the voice actor who passed away, uh, sadly. But um, I'm gonna get back to it in more of the, the uh, more into that info, which for those who you might know or you already know, or those who haven't known just yet. Another fine day, alone in my room, and plenty of books to read. Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Um, what? I didn't do anything! No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are. I can tell. Just get it over with. What did I do? 
You did not do anything wrong. Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Can't breathe? Too I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding in your room. It seems like something must be troubling you, for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No! Uh, no thanks! I'm fine! See, I'm breathing out! You fixed me! Can I go? Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Just stop it! I'm not interested! Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand, otherwise I will have to pick you up and carry you and neither of us will... What if I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business! Get... Lost! Ah! Oh. oh no! Ah, ouch! I sprained my wrist! Oh no, 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 no! Now you've done it, Bernie! Now you're his eternal rival! I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I. No! I'm done for! You'll be the death of me for sure! Maybe I should just come back later. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Even though I was a great ladies man, it had problems with Bernadetta, so I cannot blame him, so thank you very much. Yeah. I never thought you'd get this. I never thought you had problems with Bernadetta, Ferdinand, Von Iyer, but then you realize it's just not your day but then again actually it was your day but she's kind of getting paranoid and that schizophrenia and then being scared all the time but i love erica mendes voice acting to be honest yes i really do uh he um you know he played out um uh billy billy really played out this well to be honest and um i'm gonna give him credit for that and when he tried to sound like the most youngest teenager to being out of a, of a college student it sounded like a college student to be honest um or there's something like a teenager that's really well great voice acting i mean you gotta like uh practice makes perfect and this is what actually he did i mean like when he it sounds like he's in trouble it sounded like he's trying to be a gentleman by not starting the fight and then he actually did it and that's what it is and you're gonna see to find out why and um, on this next conversation once again a uh, living tribute to billy comets bernadetta if you have a moment i would like to discuss what happened before Our fate arrives. Help! I am not here to hurt you. You need not even open the door. Just listen to me. I don't have to open the door? Is this a truce? Okay, okay. I like truces. Thank you. I would like to apologize for sticking my nose into your business the way I did. I thought you might be unhappy all cooped up in there, and that maybe I could help. But I've had time to reflect on what you said, and I realize I was mistaken. Oh, um, thanks for caring, but I'm fine, actually. I see that. I suppose that is what I'm trying to say. I should not have pushed you to do something that you did not wish to do. And for me to frighten you like that? That was unbecoming conduct for a noble. A little bit. Frankly, I am embarrassed by my behavior. I disgraced myself. As for my injury, 
you need not feel guilty or afraid. The sprain was a result of my own thoughtlessness, not anything you did. I have always strived to be a good person, but I suppose all that striving was for nothing. I have failed in my duty as a noble. Um, Ferdinand? Yes, Bernadetta? I don't really know much about this sort of thing, but you shouldn't say things like that about yourself. It wasn't all your fault, you know. I'm to blame, too. I hurt you, and I'm sorry. Really, it is fine. It healed quickly. And it wasn't for nothing, either. I am not so sure. I do like my time alone. Actually, it's more of a need. But you're right. I also need to venture out every once in a while. Maybe if I work as hard as you do, I can try it a little more. Yes, keep working at it. You are already much more outgoing than you used to be. When I mess up, or even when it's just a bad day, it's hard for me to step outside. I'm too scared. But the next day, I try again, because I know that one mistake doesn't ruin everything. So you're still... I mean, just because you... That doesn't mean... I don't know how to put it, but that's how it is. So, um, the end. <laughs> what a graceful end to the conversation. Hey, come on, that was serious. <sighs> At least I got you to laugh. I never knew how he can try to sound like really apologetic, to be honest. It, it, and it's like, well, spot on. They're like, when you feel like you want to be apologetic, you want to have to feel like the character to become that apologetic. Like, I'm sorry for what I did to you. And then he sounded like, to be a gentleman is to, be, is to feel that you need to apologize for what has happened. And like, how could you not be such a noble as to to do this and that's how it that's how it happened from what he's doing and and sooner or later i think he's going to move takes the next step to another level on this ranking from what he did in this conversation that what he recorded his voice acting in this game from fire emblem three houses um if he did his voice acting on fire emblem three hopes before he passed away i'm certain you might hear it as well but uh i may not be no i may not know everything if he if his voice acting is in that game or not before his passing but if he if it's his voice acting is in that game before his passing um i would totally love to hear it so um so here's another conversation with you know, where, where Billy Comets did with, with the conversation with uh, Bernadetta on A ranking when Erica Mendez did the same thing as well. Besides the one, <laughs> besides, you know, another voice actress. Ah, even with the fires of war raging all around us, Tea never fails to soothe the soul. Do you not agree, Bernadetta? Um, I hadn't actually thought about it, but yes. Excellent. Oh, that reminds me. Hmm? What's that? A long time ago, my parents were in talks to arrange my marriage with a certain young lady. She never set foot outside of her room, and she made little dolls to curse her perceived enemies. Well, such were the rumors. Frightened, I dissuaded my parents from going through with their plans. I can see that. She does sound pretty frightening. I relate to the staying in the room part, though. That girl was you, Bernadetta. A daughter of House Varley. What? I don't make dolls to curse people. You are a skilled embroiderer, no? I guess I was wrong. You are not making dolls. I did make dolls, but cute ones. Nice little carnivorous plants and things. Ah, hmm. Maybe I should not have brought this up. Why not? Carnivorous plants are adorable. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Adorable. 
Anyway, if I had actually known you, I would have accepted the proposal. Um, why? Did you have some scheme in mind? No, I just mean, now that I have gotten to know you, I would have been happy to... So, you're saying you... with me? <laughs> uh, it's getting kinda hot in here, isn't it? Maybe, um, maybe it's the tea. Why are you getting so worked up? That was all a long time ago now. A long time ago? Yes. Now we are soldiers fighting together in the same great conflict, right? And my parents are gone. So any agreements they might have cooked up would be completely invalid. I guess so. Just think. If we had been married, we would not have been able to build such a deep friendship. That's true. Yeah, we never would have gotten this close. I would have given up on the relationship my parents chose for me and shut myself away even more. So all in all, I am glad I refused to marry that doll-cursing princess. Hey! I said I never made cursed dolls! <laughs> sorry, sorry. I am just glad to have met you at the monastery. I had better take my leave. We should have tea together again sometime soon. Yeah, um, see you. I'm glad we met here too. <laughs> At least it wasn't no friend zone. <laughs> As Ric Flair would say, "Woo, yeah!" Uh, Billy, uh, I'm gonna give you the woo part to Billy Comet. So, as Ric Flair would say this, "Woo, yeah!" That's a living tribute to Billy Comets. Woo! So yeah, I'm. Oh my. So um. The news I found out about Billy Comets' uh, is, um, passing is that uh, he actually passed away. And I, what I did not know was the shocking news that he kind of has uh, colon cancer. So I did not know he was battling on this. And it was his stage four. Such a... He's such a strong, such a strong guy who knows how to beat colon cancer. And then usually somehow... Um, it actually, when 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 cancer takes a hold of you, it, it changes you for life. It completely changes you from the inside out, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. It's it's um it's it's quite um quite uh, shocking news to anyone's heart, to to be honest. And uh, you can't. You can't understand and make someone forget for what it is. It's, it, it, it's, it's, it strikes at the very, <clears throat> court, very core of the heart, and you, and it's. I I can't. Um, he was alive and now he's gone. It's, so yeah. However, um. This is something that, um, uh, here's another conversation that I would love to, but this time it's about, um, why not say we, he gets a little hold of Lindhart, you know, talk man to man. So, uh, here's something what he did with, um, his voice, he recorded his voice acting with actor, voice actor Ben Diskin, yeah, who voices Mega Man as well, yes, and he's from Marvel Ultimate Alliance to Mega Man 11, yeah, thank you very much, and, <laughs> um, yeah, and he's also from the Fire Emblem Heroes, so, Golden opportunity to does uh, Fire Emblem games again. So uh, this is the <clears throat> rank C on the conversate on the support conversations right here. So here we go, rank C. Take it away. Oh, just look at this place. It's so beautiful. I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. 
Unacceptable. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from a constitution that tires easily. Hmm. <laughs> Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. The righteous path of the noble lies before you. You're always giving it your all, aren't you? Yes, I am. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. In fact, I rather enjoy your demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable as you are striking, next to you, I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Indeed, I went for a ride earlier today. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. Hmm? Where are you going? Oh, I must get some sleep. Being the infant that I am. Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among nobles. Noble among nobles? Seems a bit much. Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! You see how he vo voice acted for between this and that. I mean, he was like live, brisk, and rapid, and say, um, and say how great it is to be a noble. I mean, he wasn't. I know he's like not. I know he's kind of taking pride into this, but when he does it, he he does it with honor. So he 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 kind of does it with honor by taking uh, this as a noble and for the nobility drinking tea riding horses and how he great he does and talk is um, from what he does every time so <clears throat> another uh, enjoyable part of the moment is uh from billy comets is we once again between with uh with him and ben diskin so here you go then uh, this is conversation support b linhart there you are. Observant as ever, Ferdinand. What can I help you with? You have been utilizing clever tricks to give me the slip. But not today. Prepare yourself! A noble cannot escape from his duty. Hold these words in your heart. It seems you really mean it this time. I suppose I have no choice but to outmatch you. Finally, a little enthusiasm. You are bravely stepping upon the path of nobility. Let us begin! Come now, Ferdinand. Don't be foolish. I can't possibly train with you. I have places to be. Wait! I will not allow you to get away! I can't... I can't run anymore. Just... admit defeat. Can't we... Just a minute. Ferdinand, let me, let me catch my breath. Well, maybe just for a moment. I could use a rest myself. I am surprised you could run so far. I had assumed that all that lounging around would have dulled your constitution. But I had a difficult time keeping up. The fear of having to exert myself really helped. You're none too slow yourself. It's been a while since I ran like that. It actually feels pretty good. It does, does it not? Well, how about we say that thrilling chase was your training for the day? If you will excuse me, I am going to run even more, so I can catch you next time. After all the running you already did? That's our Ferdinand. You always give everything your all, don't you? 
<laughs> and what is wrong with that? Nothing whatsoever, Ferdinand. I mean that. I guess this means he wants to be a runner, so try to do the track and field if you like to know. It'll get your track. Who knows? Perhaps you might go into the Olympic Games or the Pan American Games. I don't know. Whichever works. So go for it and win a gold medal for me, dude. Oh, come on, man. I really like it. It's just, it's, it's a great time, y'all. It's. Why can't you just listen to me for once? Uh, oh, man. No, nobody does listen to me for once. So, whatever. Whatever, dude. I don't, like, whatever. I don't care about something like that from, that bothers you for me. For instance, y'all. Okay, um. Uh, okay, um. About, I, I got a little bit of, um. Why not? Um, the you know this one with um, uh, he recorded his voice acting with uh, between himself and voice actress Faye Mata. So yeah, Faye Mata voices Petra in this game if you want to know, and she's also from Fire Emblem Heroes, also from other games. Uh, but who knows? Uh, Faye Mata, capital F A Y E, capital. M A T A. Forgot the space. So yeah, there you have it. I'm sorry if I pronounce it correctly, but that's of the last name or the first name or both. But you get the idea. So uh, here's a conversation C from between C B and A. And uh, from what I'm hearing, uh, it's actually pretty interesting. For if you like to know, so. Yo, know, you might want to hear this convert. Uh, you might, this is how he really does it. I mean, I'm not saying uh, the voice, uh, uh, his voice. Uh, it's like going into conversation from what is she saying. It's almost kind of like almost speaking riddles, like Yoda talk, sort of. But, but the but um, but the conversation is really interesting. So, watch this. Ferdinand? Our professor is wanting to see you. Hmm. He has much concentration right now. I will wait for him to be finished reading. Hmm. Diplomacy has an effect upon weapons development. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, Petra! How long have you been there? A short time. You were devoting all of your attention to that book. Forgive me, I was fully absorbed in my reading. I see you have been reading as well. Anything interesting? I am studying the history of Foglin. A history book? What a keen student you are. And it's about House Hressfeld. Certainly a stimulating topic. I am wishing to learn all about Foglin. What is the book you are reading? Oh, this? This relates to a little hobby of mine. The regional history of weapons development in Fodlin. Militaries have to adapt their weapons according to terrain and climate. And they have to keep up with technologies in other regions. It's very interesting. Yes, it is interesting. I see why you would be enjoying that kind of reading. Oh, does that excite your curiosity too? Perhaps you would care to read more about it then. This is just one of 18 volumes. And our library has the entire collection. I give you my gratitude. Research of weapons could be a good reference for me. Oh, please take my apologies. I was meaning to tell you that our professor is wanting to see you. Oh, it is not like you to forget something. I suppose I ought to be going then. Yes, it is a rarity that I forget something. But it is not impossible. You think that conversation is not interesting? Well, actually, it is. Well, you know, about talking about technologies and this and that, and uh, how to make things work, you know, how to make things getting better. So, 
an interesting conversation with, uh, you know, from what it is worth when Billy Comets did with uh, Faye Mata during that support conversation, what he did is absolutely incredible, especially besides the battles of, of tactical RPGs. Here is support conversation B. Taking care of some weapon maintenance, Petra? You seem completely absorbed. Yes. Taking care of the weapons has great importance. I cannot argue with that. That weapon there, is it from Bridget? No, it is a weapon of Dagda. But the people of Bridget use... I mean, used them often. Fascinating. I have read about the weapons of Dagda, but this is my first time seeing one in person. Lots of weapons and fighting techniques came from Dagda to Bridget. Ah. So Dagda to the west had a big influence on the Bridget Archipelago. I am fascinated by foreign fighting techniques. Would you consider teaching me sometime? I will. But it is difficult to explain fighting with words. We can try sparring, maybe? Yes, a practical demonstration. I would be quite grateful. Let's have our beginning, then. Perhaps we should stop there. Oh? Do you think you have understanding of the fighting techniques from Dagda? Yes. Now that I have experienced it firsthand. <laughs> I used to look down on foreign fighting styles. But I was clearly remiss. The footwork, the nimble way you shift your weight is extraordinary. I will have to remember those moves for the next time I am in battle. Clearly, you have honed your skills through practice. Your fist felt as sharp as a spear. Bridget is stuck in between Dagda and Fodlin. It is of much importance to hone our fighting techniques. I am of the royal family, but I am a warrior before that. I must fight to live and to protect my home. When the alliances of Bridget and Dagda encroached on the Empire, they were always driven back. But... Perhaps the Empire's victory was due to geographic advantage or divine intervention, rather than military superiority. Having met you, that is what I think. I cannot help but feel a little disgraced. I held foreign fighting styles in such low regard without ever seeing them for myself. When I came to Fodlin, I felt disgraced from many things that I learned. But there is no disgrace in losing ignorance. We need to be learning and growing with each other, always. Yes, by working together we can make progress. And both sides need to look ahead to the future. So, learning that fighting style, from what he actually saw, he didn't even actually know. Another interesting part from uh, by saying, uh, wow, I didn't even actually know these kind of moves, the way you shifted... Um, your fighting techniques is astounding. And here is another conversation between with his voice a voice acting when he recorded that when it was recorded, along with Faye Mata, who is the voice actress who voices Petra in this game. Support conversation A. Ferdinand. Huh? Ah, Petra. Is there something I can help you with? No, I am not needing help. I was just thinking that you look... lonely. Lonely? In wartime? Hardly. I am too busy trying to survive to feel lonely. But once we have survived, what will you do with yourself, Petra? Return to your home? As an Imperial hostage, you would be freed if the Empire were to fall. Yes. My plan is to be returning home. But if Bridget and Fodlin can be friendly, I will be able to have visits whenever I choose. Maybe it is even possible for me to be living in Fodlin. Live in Fodlin? Do you not want to go back to your homeland? I do have the hope of returning one day, but Fodlin is also like a homeland to me now. I came to Fodlin nine years ago. I have been living half of my life here. My family is living in Bridget, but in Fodlin, I have new family and new friends. 
new family. I am glad to hear you feel that way about us, Petra. In that case, we will have to make sure that none of us die. We do not want to lose anyone in the family. Yes, we will be winning, and you will not be dying. Ha! <laughs> do not worry. I do not intend to die. I have some things to do when the war is over. Things? Yes. You and I can be the link between Fodlin and Bridget. Oh. Okay, I have to confess. I fibbed a little. About not being lonely. When this war ends, I will be quite lonely indeed. If you go back to Bridget. Is that a truth? I have just made a decision. I will work as an ambassador, improving relations between our people. Whether you are in Bridget or Fodlin, I will be there too. Then both places can move forward together in eternal friendship. We ought to join forces and make that a reality. Do you not agree? You have my gratitude, Ferdinand. All of it. I have loneliness just like you. But your words gave me great happiness. Please do what you are saying, and be a bridge for Fodlin and Bridget. You can count on me. We will keep at it, and one day... Yes, one day, we will be seeing that future. Sorry, my... But it seems my cell phone kind of rang, and I was not aware of it, so yeah. But I will end the first part of the video as a living tribute to uh, Billy Comets, and there will be a second part which you hear from his voice acting with others besides my, besides the other, besides the main character of the protagonist of this entire game, whether it's he or she. But I have not done the she route, but I will do that. But like, not in well. Uh, I'm not saying between episodes when I have the time and do this fully. Yes, why not? Okay, so anyways, I think this is a great stopping point from here on out because this is the end of part one in a living tribute to Billy Comets. Uh, thank you guys for watching. So don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe and tell me what do you guys think of <clears throat> his voice acting uh, um, as much as you can think of or uh, because in this game you guys like it or hate it mash that like button and or share this video but please don't dislike it because billy comets already you know it would be a disgrace because it don't i won't remember how he died i'm gonna i'm I remember that how he lived through it is what he did. So anyways, as your friendly neighborhood superhero who likes to take chances, making mistakes, and getting messy, who likes peanut butter and chocolate and or breakfast for dinner, and celebrating our five-year anniversary of this entire channel of Leo's Let's Plays Alliance, Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice. And I'll see you guys next time for part two of Fire Emblem Three Houses in a living tribute to Billy Comets. Friendship is magic for everyone, y'all. And take care.